Welcome to AzureTeach.net. In this video, we are going to discuss the differences between ID token and access token in detail and also I am going to show you the differences practically. Let us understand these concepts in a layman terms. If you work for any company, you will be provided with an ID card. So the ID card will have the basic details like the company name, employee name and employee id and other details along with these basic details the id card will also have a chip embedded inside so when the employee swipes the id card the details from this chip will be sent to the server and checks his authenticity so here we can consider the id card with these basic details as id token and this particular chip as access token so the id token is proving the identity of the user and this particular access token is being used to check whether if the user have access to the particular premises or not before we go for a practical demo let us understand the differences theoretically id token is used to identify the user it will be issued when the user logged in and access token is used to access the resources that can be apis and some other resources id token contains user specific information as we have seen in the id card specific example the id token or the id card is having the basic information about the employee so the same goes here and the access token contains api specific information indicating which api the token is authorized to access the next difference is target application for the id token is the client application so the id token must be consumed at the client application only it should not be sent to the server and target application for the access token is the api as it is required to access the resources and id token will not contain the scopes but they are mandatory in access token so if you don't know the scopes so assume you are registering yourself in linkedin using your gmail account so when you are registering the gmail will show a consent which states the linkedin is going to access your profile photo contacts and some other details right so the profile photo contact your first name and last name these are the scopes so the scope tells to which extent the linkedin can access your gmail account and id token must be in jwt format because the jwt is base64 encoded the client application can easily decode and read the data from the token body but access token can be a jwt token or it can be any opac string let us understand the differences practically so here i am in my azure account and i am going to microsoft entra id and app registrations and here if you see i have already created two applications so one is for the api app and the other is for the client app now i am going inside the api app so in the api app in the expose in api section i have added a scope that is files dot read and also i have added this application id url so if you don't know how to do all these things there are a lot of videos available on the channel you can go through them and inside the client application in the api permissions tab i have added open id permission of microsoft graph api so this is required if you want to get the id token otherwise when you request for the token azure will only give you the access token and i have added this profile and user dot read to read uh, the user details the id token will have the basic user details of course that we can configure that i am going to show you later and also i have added the permissions on our api app that is files dot read and also in the certificates and secrets here i have added a secret now i am in the overview section of the client app registration i am going to endpoints so here we have all the required endpoints so we need this token endpoint to generate those tokens i have already composed uh, the request in the postman but i am just showing you uh, how you can get the required details so here we have the 
client ID and also we have seen the uh, secret that is required and here we have the scope of the API application so using all these details I have composed this request so here we have to pass the scopes specific to our API that is files.read and here I have mentioned open ID because this is required to generate the ID token and this profile scope is required as we are going to get the basic details of the user and here we have mentioned the grant type as password because the ID token can only be issued for the logged in user so I have mentioned the grant type as password and here I have mentioned the secret and here I have mentioned the user credentials like username and password and if I hit on send so it generated the access token and ID token now I have opened jwt.ms in two windows like this I am going to postman and first I am copying the access token and going to one of the windows and on the left side I am pasting the access token and I am going back to the postman and now I am copying the ID token and pasting it on the right side window now let us see the differences so here inside the access token we have the API apps application ID as the audience claim you can see that over here so this is the client ID of our API app but in the ID token the audience claim is having the value of our client applications client ID you can see that over here and if you scroll down here we have the scope as files.read and the id token don't have any scopes because the scope is mandatory and it is only specific to the access token and here we have the roles so this user is having manager role on the api app and this detail is not available on the id token you can configure these things in the id token as well uh, that i am going to show you later and here we have the app id so this app id is the uh, app id of the client application so this states for which client application this token is generated here we have this ip address claim so this is default in the access token but for the id token i have to make the configurations that we can do by going to the client application and then token configuration so here we have add optional claim so here you can choose id or access or saml token i have selected the id token and configured the ip address this i want to see inside the id token you can select all other details which are shown over here and the similar details you can select inside the access token as well this depends on the requirement so if you add more claims inside the token that may bloat your token and your token may go beyond the uh, required http header size defined by the http so that is the reason these values are given as optional that is all in this video if this content is helpful to you please like the video subscribe to my channel and also share this link with your friends thank you